Okay, so I'm just going to see if watch power uh, for MPP software for uh, controlling the the PIP inverters, that software there, will run on Windows 10. So this is a brand new install. This is 64-bit. Um, uh, yes, that's normal. Alright, so there's the first problem. I'm going to copy off the USB stick and put it on the computer. I'll pause the video now here and I'll restart it in a second. Okay, so I just needed two hands uh, just to click on some stuff. So it looks like it's installing properly on Windows 10. Just put it on all the defaults. I won't. Uh, the start menu. Yeah, we'll put it on the start menu. Back on the desktop. Next. Now this is a brutally old laptop. It's Windows Vista. Um, oh shit. It's got to be at least eight years old. It's the old work ice, workhorse in the workshop. It gets um, all the new stuff and gets a new hard drive every other month to test stuff on. It's just got an old 500 gig, or it's got a new 500 gig hard drive in it. So, well, that seemed to install it okay. Let's see if it runs it. Uh, allow access, I guess. Well, that's not so bad. At least it opens up. Being a Java-based program, I'm guessing it would have, but it's always nice to know before you buy it. So, I'll pause the video again. And um, I'll get the cables off and I'll disconnect this one, which is bad because I'm doing a bit of logging. I'm charging at 27 amps. It's got full sun. I think I am losing a bit of power. Um, just for the 50 odd meters of cable I got from the car, from the panels to the inverter. I'm pretty sure that should be higher than 26.5 volts under load. It's uh, 26 or 27 volts unloaded, um, but I got 47 amps worth of panels. Well, in you know that's in perfect conditions, and I'm only getting I've only seen uh, 29 amps maximum, and I got a pretty good day today. Great sun. But okay, I'll get the cables transferred over, and we'll get this started again. Okay, so I just got this um, uh, USB to RS232 port. And basically I'll just plug it into that one, plug it into the computer and see how we go. Now usually this isn't a, um, a horrible process. Plug it into the computer, of course USB always going to put it in the wrong way, doesn't matter how many times you've done it. Connect this up with one hand making yourself look like a goose. There we go, so that's in. Um, now this is Windows 10, so if you right click on the little Windows button and go up to Device Manager, you should be able to see a bugger. So that is the USB to serial, it's not working. Let's update the driver, let's see if we can just grab it straight off the net. Be nice if that just worked, but it has on everything else. It got the rest of the drivers automatically when I put Windows 10 on. Hey, look at that download and driver. Let's see if that works. Really shouldn't take long. I mean, <laughs> how much can a, a USB driver actually be to download? I've got 50 odd megabits per second today, so it's um quite quick. So it shouldn't take that long. Certainly shouldn't take this long. Come on, oh, there we go. Let's see if she installs. Installing driver, nice. So hopefully that changes to an actual device. There we go. So we've got CH340. Close that and that should update. Awesome. As you can see there, it's COM port 4. 
So COM port 4 is what we want within the software. So if we go top left hand corner, go to um, COM port. Oh look at that, didn't even have to do anything. Did not have to do a single thing within the software. Didn't have to choose anything, it just automatically logged in. So, uh, that's the log. So that one's not doing anything now. And this one is working. So, well that's that was easy, that was um, quite good. Now if I go, one of the main things I have a problem with on Windows 7 is this, and the device is missing. And this is the same problem on this one. We've got no device, so we've got no logs. So let's see if we fix this the same way as we fix it on Windows 7. Right click, and exit. We should exit out of the program. And we go back to watch power. We right click on the mouse. Go run as administrator. Just agree to the prompts and of course you can get rid of those prompts by um, changing the um, uh, UAC or something um, okay so that's just taken a half a minute or so to log back in it hasn't found the device yet um, oh there we go that just took a little bit to to kick in there we go. Now, if we go up to here, ah, uh, look at that. The device is back, so the logging's back. So you got to log in as an administrator for some reason. Um, I'll do another video and work out how to set that up so it happens every time. Um, I haven't really tested it, but I dare say if you don't log in as an administrator, it won't log anything. And well, you need to do that. Well, if you want to keep an eye on it or do what I do when I just run my batteries float every night. Well, not try to, but I do. So, Windows 10, guys, it all works. You don't have to worry. So if you're getting a new computer or you're updating in the next few months, uh, be assured that Watch Power does appear to work and um, pretty much works out of the box, even with one of these little Chinese cables. Eight bucks off eBay or something. All I did was... Um, Again, I just went to Device Manager. Yeah, where's the mouse gone? Right click. Then you go to Device Manager. And then I right clicked on the... Um, on the um... Hey, that's taking a bit of time to load up, isn't it? Yeah. No. That's Disk Manager. I want Device Manager. Post-production will get that as well. Device manager. The reality is we don't have device. We don't have anything because I just load it straight up. Okay, so if it was an unknown device, I don't know where that come from, but you just update the driver, uh, search automatically online, and it'll jump online and download that. So like, like, rate, subscribe. What's that one? The Shiba Hotkey driver. No idea, but hey, look, that's how easy it is to actually get the drivers on there for that. Um, USB to RS323 port. And again, they're just off eBay. So, there you have it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this computer now because I don't actually need it. But at least it works. Cheers, guys.